Hello everyone, this is Abhinash. Friends, in this video, I am going to talk about an extremely important topic for UPSC preparation. Friends, I will share you my own experience of UPSC preparation. One thing friends, that when one doesn't qualify a prelims examination, he focuses a lot on the prelims examination next year. And unfortunately, he neglects the men's examination preparation. Friends, I have seen many people like in for prelims 2020 you tried hard but you could not qualify due to a thin margin of 5-10 marks and so in the next year like in prelims 2021 you will focus an, a lot on the prelims examination many people they qualify the prelims examination but they could not qualify the mains examination because there is only three months gap in between prelims and mains examination friends for mains examination you need a year-long study and year-long approach. Many people, they forget about this one. There is another spectrum also, friends. There are many people who go up to the interview stage and but unfortunately, they do not get a final list and in the next year, also they could not qualify the prelims examination. I have seen the both the extremes because they take prelims examination too much lightly. In last year also, I've, I've seen friends from 2017 prelims has become very difficult and especially because the number of candidates are reducing, the number of uh, the cutoff is rising. So you have to focus a lot on the prelims examination. But another thing you should forget, remember that mains examination decides your rank. So please focus on the mains examination because if you get a rank in the list, then only you will be successful. So friends, what should be your strategy for the prelims examination? My belief is that you should not be, there should not be too much less or too much more on the prelims part. You should have a very balanced approach for prelims and you should have a very balanced approach for the mains examination. Balance in terms that the number of hours you are allocating, the number of books you are reading for prelims and mains, there should be balance. Then another thing friends, for prelims test, how many tests you should give? I believe that 20 to 30 test serious mock test should be enough for prelims examination. You can try as much, but along with that, please do the answer writing because it, it, it is very important for the mains examination. Another thing friends, I have seen that there are many people, there are many friends of mine who can easily qualify the prelims examination. The reason is that they are very good at mains examination. Friends, mains examination helps you to get good logics, good analytical skills. So focus on the mains examination part and you can easily solve many questions from prelims question. You can see the last year question papers or previous year question paper. There are a lot of questions from analytical point of view. You cannot read n number of books for prelims examination, but yes, you can develop your analytical skills. So focus on this part friends, only few months are only four months are left. So focus on this part or uh, next two months you can have a very balanced approach for mains and prelims and last two months friends you just focus on the prelims examination. That's my advice because if you are not able to qualify prelims examination you cannot sit for the mains examination. You will be ruled out for the whole competition. So focus on this friend. Thank you everyone. Have a good day and friends I'll share you. One Twitter, uh, one Twitter ID, please, if you are on Twitter, you can follow that page. Thank you, everyone.